Now we're going to move on to some two-step equations. I included the six steps that we talked about at the beginning of the lesson right here so we could kind of go through them. Now, distributing on both sides, there isn't that, so skip over step one. Step two, simplify each side by combining like terms. Here we can see that there are no like terms. Over here, 9a and negative 1 can't go together. One is a variable, one is a constant. Moving all the variables to one side, well, that's already done too. The a's are all on the left. So we are ready to go to step four, which is move all the constants to the other side. Let's get rid of that minus one by adding one on each side. Once you do that, negative one and positive one cancel out and you're left with 9a equal negative 81. Now online students that are doing the interactive notebook, you don't have to show this intermediate step right here. You should include that when you write problems down that you're working on, but in your interactive notebook, you just need to type this thing right here. The intermediate steps to go from this line to this line aren't typed in there. Now let's undo that nine in front of the A by dividing each side by nine. And when we do that, we get A equal negative nine. That appears to be our answer. Let's just double check and make sure. For the check, we go back to the original equation and replace the a with negative 9. So 9 times negative 9 minus 1 should be equal to negative 82. That's negative 81 minus 1 equals negative 82, and negative 82 equals negative 82. So it does indeed work. This next equation also has steps one through three completed, but what we do need to do is get all the constants to one side of the equation. All the variables are over here on the right side, so we wanna move that eight to the left side. To undo a positive eight, we need to subtract eight on both sides. When you do that, this is gonna cancel out. Five minus eight is negative three, so negative three is equal to b divided by negative four. For my online students in your I and B, you don't need to type in this minus eight part. That's just showing my work. You need to type in this line right here. The negative three equals B over negative four. Now let's go ahead and get the B by itself. We want to get the variable by itself by multiplying or dividing by a constant on both sides. Here, since it's being divided by negative four, to undo divide, we need to multiply. So I'm going to take both sides and multiply by negative four. And when we do that, negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. So our answer is b equal 12. Let's double check and make sure that it works. So we go back to the original equation and we replace that b with 12. So 5 equals 8 plus 12 divided by negative 4. Well, 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. And 8 plus negative 3 is 5. So it does work since 5 equals 5. Here's one more two-step equation. We have 14 minus 3x equal 29. Now, all the variables are already on one side. All the constants need to be brought to the other. So let's move that positive 14 to the other side of the equal sign. We can do that by subtracting 14 on each side. Now remember, online students, in your I and B, you're just going to type what goes from one line to the next. So the first line you're filling in is this negative 3x equals 29 minus 14, which is 15. Then we know that we need to get rid of that negative 3 in front of x and to undo the negative 3 we divide each side by negative 3. You're not going to have to show this divide by negative 3 in your I and B. You'll just need to show your final answer here, which will be x equals negative 5. Then we can just check the answer quick. Go back to the original equation, replace the x with negative 5. And negative 3 times negative 5 is 15, so 14 plus 15 should be equal to 29, and that does work. Passes our check, which means the answer must be x equal negative 5. 